Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm actually sitting on my couch. It's super early in the morning. Um, but I wanted to kind of do like a vlog style. It's not really a vlog style. It's more of like me talking to you. Like I'm just talking to my friends like this. Um, more of like a chillin' vibe. Um, because I tried to film a really um, important video yesterday and my dog drove me absolutely nuts. I was not able to film. Um, he kept moving the camera, got the angle wrong. Like it was just... A mess i tried for three hours and i did not manage to get this video filmed so i was like since he wants to show off so much i might as well just make a video where i show you the tricks i taught him um how hard it was and um little pieces of advice that i learned along the way on how to get um your dog to listen to those tricks um so yeah let's get into the video <laughs> This is the little monster right here. It is so freaking cute, but um, it's the morning, so he usually gets super, super, super hyped. Like it's 7 a.m. and he's already been, already been running everywhere. You see, he goes for his toy already. So if we do the training now, I don't know if it's gonna work because he is not really like, he didn't get all his energy out, but um, we'll see. All right, so this is gonna be a little easier because he saw that I have a handful of treat right here. So the first thing that I taught him is sit, but he's already sitting, so I'm just gonna give it to him right now. Um, the next one that I taught him is down. So if I say down, he should listen, down. Good boy. See, he's not, he's not really staying um, like I would like him to, but that's okay. The next one that I did was gimme paw, but this one is a little harder. Um, because I have to hold the camera. Brooklyn, uh-uh, off. See, he already wants for the treat, off. Here, sit, give me paw, give me paw, good boy. See, it's, we're still working on it, we're still working on it. I also taught him, oops, how to spin, come, spin, good boy. Here. And one that I recently taught him since I'm pregnant and I don't want to have any issue with the baby is go away. Brooklyn, see, he already did it on its own, which is super, super cute. Brooklyn, go away. This one works really well. And then I also taught him to stay. So let's try to make him come here. Sit, stay, 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 come. And then usually stays in out that I need to teach him is to grab the treats pretty um like chill he saw all the treats see that's the problem off he always goes on my counter because he saw that I had some more treats so we're still working on the word off but that's a hard one because who can resist a treat right another one um another one that is actually really important is the stay command we're still working on him getting to the door because he always goes and run on people and he does not stay especially when someone rings the doorbell um but he does it pretty well in the house i also try to teach him upstairs where um the baby room is going to be because we already have a little bit of um piece of furniture so we have um like the bed um a few stuff there so i'm trying to teach him to <laughs> already smell um the items that we're going to use frequently with the baby and also to, um, train him in the um in the room what i realized the most important with the puppy is to make sure that he knows the command but also to um try the command in other rooms because i usually tend to teach him like right behind me um it's like the living room and it goes it's like a hallway that goes into the kitchen so i try to teach him here um, but I feel like sometimes if I go in our backyard, he doesn't listen as much because the backyard is to play, run, go potty. So he, he doesn't listen as much. So one little piece of advice is um, teach your dog um, all the commands in different rooms. Um, right now, we are still working on getting him, um, getting him used to the leash because it's, I mean, Washington State has been running. So he usually goes really quick in the backyard. To go to the bathroom he doesn't really go out because it's pouring outside so you can't really go on a walk but he's been, he's horrible on a leash that's one of my like biggest problem is that he's horrible on a leash and that's something i need to work on i've been trying but it's really hard i feel like teaching him little tricks like this like sit down stuff like this is more fun for him 
but at the same time um it's easier for me so i need to work on um getting him out with the leash and teaching him how to walk without pulling without jumping without all the the messy behaviors out there anyone with a puppy um out there that has um a good a really really good tip to um walk the dog because i tried the method where if he pulls you just start walking the other way the only thing is that first i look crazy in front of my neighbors and second he does not it does not work for him i tried for a whole 20 30 minutes with him to just start walking back the other way but he's just too hyped and just too energized that he absolutely does not listen <laughs> and he doesn't care that you make him go the other way he's like he's, he's literally like acting like oh great more smells or different smells he doesn't really care so i've been trying that i've been trying with treats but then at some point he would sit all the walk and wanted to sit just because he's like oh if i sit i get a treat so he's been like you know confusing the the sit at home with the sit outside in the walk and that that just did not work so i'm trying to figure out and if you guys have any help i would love that because i would love to take him on a walk a little more but i feel like sometimes it's just it's just a whole adventure a whole journey to go on a 15 minute walk <laughs> that sometimes i'm just so exhausted i don't even have the strength to think about it also one last thing that we've been working on is the command leave it um he does not really listen to that um i need to work more and i do i need to practice it every single day because leave it is a is a is a really key and major command especially if he grabs something that he's really really not supposed to for example right now he's playing with a paper towel which in the end it's not that bad but if it's something like poisonous or whatever grab something on a walk and he's not supposed to have it we need to teach him that so um this is um this is pretty much it all the tricks he knows um it's not that hard for the main basic ones because um first of all i have a treat in my hand so he listens and he's a really really good listener so um when you teach him like um for example sit or down um those were pretty easy because um i looked up some like videos or even online how to get them in the position um down was actually harder he learned um give me paw before down <laughs> because for the down position i read that it's like really like a they're in a like submission submissive whatever um position to lay down like they're vulnerable and it's really hard for them to do this um so for that one i saw the people that were taking the treat and putting it down all the way to the floor and they would try to lay down the thing with him is that he would not lay down he would just jump at the treat and then try to leave so it took about 10 15 minutes for him to understand the motion of going down just with me pulling the treat down and then once he was down that he would understand the down coming so i had to do that in like three four days so he would have to go down to grab the treat and then at some point i would just say down before the position and then move the treat down and he will go down um and then after that um he got like a rough week <laughs> so we got a clicker and my husband made him go down just by saying it in like 10 minutes with the clicker um if you guys are struggling sometimes like me um just get a clicker it's a lifesaver usually when i grab the clicker he knows he's about to get treats and he's gonna get some training and he usually behaves really well and he's just like so ready and like ready to learn so the clicker really really um really helped us um so for the down command that's what i had to do for the give me paw that was super easy i just grabbed this paw i just said give me paw I'll grab this paw give him a treat i did this um two times maybe 10 minutes tried the next day again and then he gave me paw right away so um i'm kind of glad with that is that he's a good um listener when he wants to and he loves um he loves to learn and then labs are amazing at learning so one little um last fun thing that i do with my dog is that for example when i play with him and i throw him a toy i usually um try to go hide if i can and he's just having so much fun and that's how i get him the energy out and he learns how to um look for me so basically what i do is that i throw him a toy and then i kind of run um while he's not see he's already right here trying to be in the video um but what i do um he always wants <laughs> attention but what i do is that i would throw his toy and then try to run if i can um while he's running for the dog for the toy and then um, when he comes back, he would look for me. So I have a few different spots 
and usually if he doesn't see me he just tries to go to the other spot to look for me and i just that's just the cutest thing ever and that also makes him um think a little more and that's a really really good way to get his energy out just throwing the toy back and forth is fun but i feel like for him sometimes it's not enough and um to actually um throw the toy and go hide that makes him um think way more than just playing with the toy back and forth and he looks for me and then it's more fun for him because then as soon as he sees me and we have eye contact you are and we have like eye contact he would um he would just like start running because it's like oh shoot she saw me i have to run i have to run and this is just the funniest thing ever so a little tip of advice i know i struggle sometimes because he's super hyped and um this if you have to teach your dog or training or stuff like this um just play this game a little bit before training him and then you will have his full attention that's it for the tricks i taught my dog if you guys have any question please feel free to ask me if you have any advice on the leash walking or other little stuff that maybe i do wrong please feel free to um comment down below um if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet yet please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video